guys, Evette here, and I am the Witch World Creek. Welcome to my channel. And today's video is the e Valentine self care spread. Because Valentine's is just not about having someone who cares about you and loves you, right? Or having somebody, to, you know, to give you gifts or whatnot, like a boyfriend or a husband. Um, and it's not, and it's not only um, about gifts. You know what I mean? A lot of times we forget about ourselves. So Valentine's could be a great time to do self care. So I'm going to do a self care spread um, that I found on um, astrology.com, and we will. Um, do that for Valentine's because you guys um, know that love's going to come to you when you're ready when, when you have already worked on yourself and love yourself right when you're in a good place with yourself that's when you really want it to come in so what I want to do is share a self care spread to help you on that journey to get there to get to a place where you are just loving yourself where you think you're you just feel so fabulous about yourself and you're just like you're not gonna take any mess shit like you're not gonna be or any woman shit you're not going to settle for just somebody who's gonna make you feel like shit okay so let's just go ahead and take care of ourselves and not worry about what anybody else is thinking about us, right? So the first card, right? Oh, no, no, hello, hello, I'm all over the place. We're going to see that we're in a different, on a different desk now because um, my computer is obviously in this area. My reading area is over there. So I need to... Uh, I have everything in my bedroom because we're in a we're in a small apartment. It's bigger than the one I had before, but um, it's an apartment. You guys know how an apartment is. So um um, I left my lease open to move to so that I could I, move, I could move to a house whenever I find one. So I have more room. So anywho, here we go. Self-care spread for Valentine's Day. Ain't nothing wrong with loving yourself, damn it. Okay, the first card. What I love about myself. Well, hello. Let's go ahead and just, just jump right out and do... The Page of Pentacles. The Page of Kent Pentacles. Um, a lot of people read this as uh, money coming in quickly, right? Because the page is, you know, just really quick and shit. You know what I mean? They're, they're the uh, young man that, you know, gets there too fast. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm just going. <laughs> But this is us. This is what we love about ourselves is that we are quick in materializing the things that we want. Right? I mean, look at us. We have a book there. We have coins. We, we know what we need to do to make things better in our own lives. So what we love about ourselves is how we are good at planning shit when it comes to manifesting what we need, right? So that's card one. This is a, a four-card spread. So let's see. Next card. What others love about me? So we'll see what others love about us. What do others love about us? What do others love about us? And the fact that that card just jumped out right away is a good thing. It's a good sign. It's like... It's a sign that we are working on ourselves and working on our own shit, right? So that's good. 
what others love about me. So let's see what others love about us, ourselves. What do we, what they love about us? What do other people love about us? And I will link the spread in the comment in the comments in the uh, in the down bar. So I know I saw a turn. Where is it? Here it is. What do other people love about us? This is the uh, Six of Swords. The Six of Swords. Where in this one, we walk away from shit, right? We don't like to face shit. Or we're just tired of shit and we just walk away. This one is the fact that they, we we like to we face things head on. Okay. We like to face things head on. We don't wait on anybody to do things for us. That's what people like about us. We are just self-motivated, self-efficient. We do things for ourselves. We, we put our big girl panties and big boy panties on and we do what needs to be done. Okay, that's what people love about us. Now, card number three, how I can be kinder to myself. So. How can uh, how can we how can we as a already I jumped up how can we be more uh, how can we be kinder to ourselves? What's this way? Seven of Swords. We need to Seven of Swords. Break the chains. We can be kinder to ourselves by breaking the chains of those situations that are no longer serving us. I keep telling you guys. <clears throat> get rid of these fucking people they're not here to help you they're just here to bring you down and the last card is number four advice for further self-love so what is the advice for further self-love why are you, you know what guys things are just wanting to jump out on us the advice for further so further self-love page of cups so usually the page of cup is this way upright and it's usually you know bringing you an offering of love and and uh, whatnot. But here, here he's thinking twice. See his face? He's thinking twice about his life, about his situation, about his offering, what he wants to offer. So we need to think, you know, we need to start thinking twice about what we're willing to give up for others. Like, is it worth it? Is it going to make you a better person? You know? But do y'all see me shaking? I'm just holding the card. That's been happening a lot lately. Anyways, I gotta bring that up with the doctor. Um, and the fact that in the evenings I get real shaky too. Like what? What the hell? But I also been um, taking milk thistle, which is probably not a good thing for me to be taking right now. Anywho's, so we have what. I love about myself the fact that we can plan shit and manifest anything we fucking want. What people love about us, the fact that we face shit and do what needs to be done. How I can be kinder to myself. We need to break the chains and get rid of shit that no longer serves us and people that no longer serves us. And how can we further so advice for further self-love is we need to Look at every decision that we're making and is it worth it? Is it making us a better person? Are these people, these things, whatever it is, it's not serving us or it's coming at us with um, asking us for whatever it is that they're asking us for before we make that decision, is it going to make me a better person? Because on their end, it's all about them. They're in it for themselves. But is it going to make you feel better about yourself? Is it going to make you a better person? So that is the Valentine's self-care reading for Valentine's Day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.